wants to be king! Welcome back to the War Room. Today's video is gonna be a slight deviation from the intended course, but I feel like it's a, it's a necessary detour because there's undoubtedly a population who listens to my message and feels in a very similar vein as the person who I will be referring to, the, the comment that was made. In my last video, I, I made reference to people who only qualified for the lowest jobs in the employment market as being dumb, stupid, if you will. And I almost poked fun at the fact that a person who was only qualified to do this felt like they were entitled for something for something else that they, they were they that, that the the equity required for them to get more than what they were worth the comment that i got was that my referring to to people as as dumb and losers vaulted me into a position where i thought that i was better than other people but first of all I've never said anything on any of these videos that could be even slightly misconstrued as me thinking that I was better than someone else. That, sir, is your opinion. You said that, I didn't. But what, what it is, is when people, when, when weak-minded people hear stuff that, that, that really touches at the heart of, the, of at their soul, there's a defense mechanism that kicks in and they say dumb shit. Now, I'm not here to make anyone feel good about their position in life, nor am I here to make anybody feel bad about it. What I'm here to do is get young men and men that have gotten older in years and that have failed to do the work to stop looking for external validation. Stop looking for extern external things to, to make you into anything and look inside. That's the whole message here. But it, it never ceases to amaze me at how many people will desperately fight to stay stuck. And I get it. I understand why that is. I understand, I understand the enormity of the task of taking ownership for one's life and realizing there's no, there's no one for me to blame here. Everything is on me that's one of the hardest things for any person to do. But it, it is absolutely imperative that all men reach that point in their lives. So many of us go through life molding and manipulating ourselves to meet, to, to meet the approval of the outside world. I think that's probably the biggest reason why David Goggin's story resonates with me so deeply is because in my younger years, I desperately changed who I was, what I, what I believed on the surface. I did anything that I could possibly think of to be accepted by the outside world, by my peers. And it wasn't until, it wasn't until I realized that these people are also on the same journey with whoever they deify. When I realized that we were all just people desperately trying to find our way, I stopped trying to play that game. And luckily I had my grandmother in my life who, who explained to me what it meant, what, you know, what you were doing when you followed fads. You weren't being original, you weren't being authentic, you were being like someone else and you were being dictated and guided by the culture. And my grandmother was very spiritual. She didn't allow us to, to get involved in that. And that, that stuck with me. It stuck with me and I started to see how everybody was just a carbon copy of someone else. And I think a lot of people end up in situations where they're losing in life. That's my, the, the, the way that I explain things isn't designed to make you feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. That's exactly why our culture is, has gotten to where we are now. Kids, especially boys, have been lied to and been molded into this feminine, this feminine creature that has no idea how to deal with manhood. They have no idea how to deal when men 
tell them the truth. And if you're, if you're sitting in front of your computer for hours a day, soaking up red pill content, learning how to hate women and, and trying to learn how to manipulate and talk somebody into dropping their panties for you. If your life's mission is sent, is sitting in front of a computer, listening to other lost dudes project their, their, their losses and their ideology on you, you are a fucking loser. You, you, you have to understand that. And that's not saying that you're a, a lower person than, than the next man. You're losing in life. If you're trying to learn how to, how to run game, it's because you're a loser with women. And I don't understand why this, why, 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 why conversation hurts men so much. Why words hurt men so much to the point where they get in their feelings and, and start picking away and, and try to tell me how macho and masculine they are and how feminine I am because I point out the obvious. If you're a fry cook in your 20s and you can't go get another job or you can't go create another job, you're losing in life. Good on you. You got a job. You're not a complete bum. But the fact that you squandered everything leading up to that point, your education, any opportunity that you had to learn in life made the circumstances where you are currently a fucking loser. See, until you start telling yourself the truth about yourself, until you can look at yourself honestly in the mirror and say, you know what, this, this is not acceptable. Until you can be honest with the man in the mirror and meet your own approval, not say, hey, man, am I, am I being approved? Do I meet the approval of social media world? Do I meet the approval of people who I don't really give a shit about? So many people manipulate and, and mold themselves to be something that they don't like for people that they don't like. People that they don't even know. When I, when I talk to men in this space, I do not have any expectation that I'm talking to men that are killing it with their career, that are killing it with women, that are happy with their pursuits and their personal, whatever, whatever hobbies or whatever it is that fulfills them as men. I do not for one minute think that those men are sitting in front of in front of their computer watching YouTube videos trying to find a way to be more complete men. And the reason why I have the perspective that I do is because it took me decades to stop being a fucking loser myself. The reason why I share this message is because it's needed. The majority of the male population is falling off the cliff. So much so that they're looking to dudes like Donovan Sharp, Fresh and Fit, the cuck Jack Murphy, and all of these self-proclaimed alphas that are wearing masks, pretending to be what they think men are. And they're capitalizing off of these men's lost, broken, bewildered souls. Because these men are desperately looking for a male figure that they can say that's what a man is. I'm not saying that I'm that I'm that man for every man. I don't expect to be, don't want to be. I'm speaking to those who are listening. There is nothing wrong with being a loser. Until you figure out who you are, what your purpose is, until you figure out what your passion is, what you're here to do, most likely you're living a life of a loser because you're not doing what you are capable of doing. You're not attaining the goals, the desires. That's losing. That doesn't make you less of a person. It just means that you're not winning. And so when I, when I say that it's your own fault, that you're not smart enough to work past being a fry cook, when I say that, I don't say it out of malice. I say it, I say it with the intention of waking you up, waking you up and making you understand that your life is your responsibility. 
And you can continue to blame everyone. You can continue to point your finger. You can continue to do all of these things that have, that have made and kept you weak. And the only thing that you will accomplish is reaching your later years and having so much regret when you look back. All of us as men start off as losers until we reach that point where we become men by all standards in society, we are losers. And it's okay to be a loser, but it's not okay to stay one. This channel is not about beating anyone down. It's about waking men up and making you understand that the greatness that you seek out there can all be found right within yourself. You have the ability, you have the capacity, and you live in a country where the only thing holding you back, the only thing truly holding you back is the man that you see when you look in the mirror. It's nobody else's fault that you are where you are. Whether you're winning or whether you're losing, you put in the work to be where you are. Simple as that. It's as simple as that. And no matter how emotional you get from the words that are being used, truth, direct truth, is the only way that you can actually wake up and change the things that you don't like. If you're obesely overweight and people tell you you're healthy at any size, you know that's a lie. You know you're not happy. And these lies that we continuously tell to make other people feel better about their condition are deadly. It's okay if you're a loser, man, but it's not okay if you stay one. Start telling yourself the truth about yourself. And don't use words that make you feel good. Use words that are the most direct truth. It's okay to be a loser. It's okay to wake up and realize that you're a fucking loser. But it's not okay for you to say, I'm all right being this way. Out.